Yes. Uh, okay, no problem. Just remember the user, just try to watch the videos every day to see the videos. Well, as long as they're ready, so you can keep updated with the classes. Okay. So no, no problem for that if you're not able to do it, to make it. Just watch the videos and do your homework. Okay, uh, teacher. No problem. I think Andrea is here. Hello, Andrea. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi there. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good okay. Morning. Excellent. Um, so today we start a new unit. This is the last unit before the exam. So we have four lessons today. Um, Yes, give me one second. Right here. Okay. Um, before we start the unit six, please, um, Kathy, will you mind reading lesson A for us, please? Lesson A as about neighborhood place with is there and are there. Say where places are with expression like next to, between, etc. Okay. Okay, in this lesson or in this unit, we are going to see go around. Go around. So you go around town or city. Is is the same town or city to be used as a synonym? Town, for example, Capulco could be named a town or city. Either way. Uh, go around when you go to different places, right? For example, um, Kathy, how often do you go around Acapulco? Um, around Acapulco? Yes, like go to downtown, go to different places. Just for fun, uh, you three times. Uh, maybe when I have a free time, uh, uh -huh. two days a week. Yes, two days a week. Where do you usually go? Uh, I go to the, to Costera. Costera? Um, on the, at the beach, on the beach. Yes, to the beach. Um, how do you, how do you get there? How do you get around town? Uh, you use public transportation, you have a car, you have a motorcycle, you have a bike, you walk. I take a public uh, trans transportation. Public transportation, okay. How far is, um, uh, for example, how far is your place, your house, to downtown? Uh, One hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Mm, it's like uh, to my house to to Costera. It's like mm, forty minutes. Forty minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Okay. Remember when you say my place, you can use my, my place. place. My place instead of my house, right? It's okay. synonym. It's synonym. Let's go to my place. It means let's go to my house. Or my place is right there. It's in that neighborhood. So it's synonym. My place. What about you, Andrea? How often do you go around town? Or how often do you go around Acapulco? You are from Acapulco, right, Andrea? Right. Okay. I once or two times a month. 
you go around once or twice a month yes okay. oh okay excellent where do you usually go i go to cinema or go to the beach to the beach all right and yeah. how do you get how do you get there how do you get around in acapulco uh, it means uh what kind of transportation or do you okay i take, take the bus okay you take the bus yes take the bus, the bus. okay uh, how far is your place how far is your place to downtown or to costera avenue um one hour about one hour okay yeah um you said public transportation right by bus yes okay excellent do you have is, is there are there yellow cabs yellow taxis to your place yes yes okay where do you live i live in in colosio Ah, Colosio. No, Colosio is not far. Yes. I mean, transportation is very easy, right? And quick. Yes. I think it's easier from Colosio to Costera or downtown than where I live. Uh, Kathy, are there, are there any yellow cabs where you live? Mm, no, I need to take a, a Urban. Uh, urban, uh, oh yes. uh -huh. an urban, and then I take the yellow taxi. Yellow taxi. Okay. Where you remind me where you live? I think you live in the Diamante, right? Or not? Uh, can you repeat the question? I think you live in Diamante. Uh, somewhere. Tres Palos? No. Yes, in Tres Palos. Right, right. It's after the airport, right? Um, uh, or before the airport? The, mm, no, it's in front, maybe. Okay. It's next to la, the Tres Palos Lagoon. Mm. But it's the other side uh -huh. on the from the airport. Uh, okay, okay. It's difficult to explain, but it's something like that. Yeah, for example, let's say I am in, I am here in downtown. I am in, let's see, the social security clinic. In downtown, so I ask you, Kathy, how can I get to your place? Give me directions. How would you explain uh, to me directions? Uh, and you take a yellow taxi, and uh -huh. you. Um, a yellow taxi to where? Uh, what direction? Which to direction? Work, uh, to work uh, Colosio. 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 And you take, uh, you take this, that taxi and you um, um, and you uh, how do you say to the Bajas, como haces decirlo? Uh, yeah, it's right on the screen, right? Get off, get on. Get on, subir, uh, get off, bajarse. Okay. And you get off in Chedrawi, Cayaco. Oh, okay, okay. And then, Cayaco, you, uh -huh. and then you take a, a urban to Tres Palos. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and you pass the the uh, 
autopista bridge. How do you say puente? Uh, yes, no, bridge. High autopista is highway. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Bridge. You say bridge? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bridge. The highway. Bridge. The highway bridge. And then it's my place, my uh, house. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Some people call freeway or highway. Okay. Or some say speedway. speedway. Depend, but the most common is highway. Highway. Okay. What about uh, you, uh, uh, Andrea? If I ask you, I ask you, Andrea, how can I get to a place? I am, let's say, I'm in Zocalo. I want to go to Colosio. You can take the macro tunnel okay. to, to Colosio or take yellow taxi to Colosio. Well, I am I am a tourist. I don't know the city. So, Andrea, I want to go to a place. How can I do? What can I do? I am in El Zócalo. Okay. G give me directions. Um, you take the the yellow taxi and get off in Colosio. Okay, I take the yellow taxi taxis or yellow cabs where. Uh, uh, you can you take yellow taxi in uh in Socalo. In Socalo, okay. And um get off in Colo in Walmart Colosio. Yeah, okay. Um and uh, UK other taxi in this side okay to colosio in yeah it's all okay excellent well okay. this this unit we are going to learn about that how to give directions to people right right okay let's see um andrea can you read lesson D, please. Okay. Lesson B. Ask for and give directions. Offer and ask for help with can and call. Yes. Could. 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 Kathy, lesson C, please. Lesson, lesson C. Check information, information by repeat. Repeating words or using expression like "excuse me" yes. as echo. Mm -hmm. Question like "it's where" to check information. Yes, it where. I say when you are like right now, we are uh, uh, you are telling me directions, right? It's where. Lesson D, Andrea, please. Yes. Lesson D, read and only guide to Istanbul, right and walking for tour guide. Yeah, read an online guide to Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, among these lessons, we have four lessons as usual. These are lessons, as you know. Kathy, uh, which one seems more interesting to learn? Which topic? Lesson A and lesson C. Yes. Remember, one of, well, at least uh, it's very important what I asked at the beginning when you go to places, like for example, if you travel and you don't know the city, how to ask for information, right? Ask how to ask for directions. That's very important. Everything is important. But we are going to start with lesson A, and we're going to learn how to use. Well, we learned this last in question one, level one. 
I hope you remember. We learned this. Uh, was unit six lesson lesson A. We learned this on there is there are. Do you remember that? Uh, Kathy and Andrea, do you remember how to use the reads at all? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, it's just a reminder of what we did in the last in the last level. That was section one. Affirmative form, question form, and negative form. So that's what we are learning in this class. Okay, before we learn this, let's learn some vocabulary. Okay, you, we need to drag, to drag the expression or the phrase here according to what you hear, what you listen to. So you hear the expression like this, we have to drop expressions here. Do you like living in this town? Yeah, I do. There's a lot of nightlife. What do you hear? Um, there is a lot of nightlife. Yes. There's... There's the construction of there is, there's, there's. Why do you like this city? Well, it's great for shopping. I love shopping. Okay, what do you hear? It's great for shopping. It's great for shopping, yes. Is right now we are just working with the pictures, the visual, um, what you listen to. Is this a good place for a vacation? Yes, it is. There's a lot to see. What do you hear? There's a lot to see. There's a lot. There's a remember in pronunciation, like here or here. There's a, there's a lot to see. It's like the linking. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to see. Uh -huh. you, you link the S with the A. There's a lot to see. Like one sound. Can I use the subway or take a bus? Yes. There's really good public transportation. It's easy to get around. And the last one, of course, and we have 
to get around, remember. To get around or to go around. Okay, that was some of the vocabulary we are going to learn. Places around town. Okay, we have some pictures here. What do you see in picture number one? Places. Here. What do you see? Uh, a church. A church. Um, um, shopping. This is a looks like a church or cathedral, right? Yes. All right. What do you see in picture number two? Hmm. Um, restaurant. It's a restaurant, right? Like a cafe or something. Yeah. It is day or night time? Night time. Night time. Alejandra, are you there? Alejandra, good morning. Uh, good morning, teacher. Yes. Uh, I can. Uh, you can. I can hear you. Good. You're here. How have you been? It's been a while, right? <laughs> Excellent. Alejandra, what do you see picture number three? This lady, what is she doing? You can look at the screen. Uh, the, the woman, uh, I see the you woman? look. Is what? Uh, the woman and uh -huh. see your window. My window? The window. Yeah, the window. Well, uh, she, she has some bags here. So what do you think she's doing? Present. Uh -huh. what, what activity do you think she's doing? She has some bags here. She's carrying some bags here. Uh, shopping. Shopping, excellent. She's shopping, right? Okay, what about picture number four? Um, let me see. Kathy, are you back? Kathy? Well, she asked for some permission for a couple of minutes. Andrea, what about number, picture number four? What do you see here? Mm. The subway? Or... No. It's a... It's a... The map? Yeah, what is, this is a map, right? Yeah, yes. we need... Yes. How do we use map? What are, what are maps for? Alejandra. Uh, or, or Andrea, either one. Yeah. A map for uh, the subway? Well, this is the map for subways, but why do what, what do the people do with maps? Uh, what do you use them for? Uh, the number two? Number four. The map. Oh, ah. Why do you uh what do you do with a map? Mm -hmm. Visit to place? Yeah, to visit places or address. No, no address. Better yeah. say for addresses or for directions, right? Right. For directions. Okay, before you begin, well before we, we begin. Three. 
नंबर थ्री ये विषय नंबर थ्री बिफोर यू बिगिन अलेक्सांड्रा कैन यू रीड बिफोर यू बिगिन हियर अरे नंबर फोर हाँ हाँ ओके देखो यहाँ पे देस देस अ लॉट टू सी What number? What picture is that? There's a lot to see. Picture number one. Number one, yes, excellent. It's easy to get around. Number four. Yes. Alejandra is great for shopping. Uh, number three. Yes, three. Ah, uh, there's a lot of nightlife. Number two. Yes, the cafe. Excellent. Okay, we have extra vocabulary for you. Traffic lights. Uh, let's see, Andrea. Can you read here? Are the yes. read uh, the is clear? Traffic lights, mm -hmm. street, square, zebra crossing. Yes. Mm. Par payment. 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 Park. Railway station. Yes, railway station. Bar cafe. Factory. Supermarket. Cinema. Um, bank. Bank. The cinema. Cinema. Okay. Alejandra, let me see if you can read this. Place in the city, in the city. Car, car park. Oh, yes, I see. Parking lot. Parking lot. Just, just the black letters. Don't worry about the other ones because uh, you can hardly see. What is this? Pet shop. Pet store. Pest or is where you buy the, the pets, dogs, little dogs, cats, etc. Or where you can find vets. Vets are the doctors for animals, veterin veterinarians. They are called vets. Continue. Alejandra? Um, pharmacy, drugstore. Pharmacy or drugstore? Or drugstore. Yes, a place where you can buy medicine and other health items. Continue. Playground. 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 Is where the kids play. Where they have swings, uh, slides. That's a playground. Continue. Police uh, station. Yeah, police station. Police station. Post office. Post office, post office, yes. Prison, 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 yes. Restaurant, mm -hmm. yes, restaurant. School, shopping mall, stadium, stadium. Stadium. Stadium, yes. Mundial, 
ground station, subway station. Yeah, remember it's on the ground station. On the ground station. Uh -huh. Of course, on the ground means it's below, right? On there, on there. Subterraneo. Supermarket. Yes. Zoo. And zoo. 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 No zoo. 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 You have a Z. Zoo. Please pay attention. If you can take notes or take screenshots or pictures, whatever is easy for you. This is vocabulary for you, so you can learn more. We have more vocabulary about birds. Okay, let's read one and one. Andrea. Let's first. try home. Um, stay home, Andrea. Um, Alejandra. Stay home. Alejandra. Eat out. One and one, remember. Yes, go to the movies. Go out to dinner. Go to the gym. Go on the internet. Relax. Rent movies. Have dinner. Together. 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 Uh, yeah. Sleep late. Read. Talk to friends. Go shopping. Watch videos. Videos. Watch videos. Play sports. Play sports. Play sports. Play no sports. sports. Yes, no sports. It's like you put, you link the two words, Andrea. Play sports. Play sports. Play sports. Yes. Kathy, you're back. Excellent. Okay, the first exercise. Look at the map. What can you do at each place you see? Tell the class. This is the map. Okay, you have different things like here, Mason, Mason's furniture. What do we have here? Andrea? Happy Planet Internet Cafe. What can you do here in the cafe, Internet Cafe? Uh, let's see, Kathy. <clears throat> what do you do in a cafe, Internet Cafe? Um, uh, near to the cafe or what I can do? What you can do in an internet cafe? Mm, I go on the internet. You go on the internet? And take a coffee. Or... But what do you usually do in an internet cafe? Besides going to the internet? Yes. For example, you can, of course, you go on the internet. You can send emails, right? <clears throat> you can check emails, um, download, download information. You can print out documents. What else? Alejandra? Uh, 
Uh, repeat, please, the question, teacher. What else you can do in an internet, internet cafe? Mm, internet cafe. Mm. Uh, site to site, uh, Manson Fiorchini. Okay. Mm. Bain. Bain uh, Rivera Shoes Trust. Uh, yes, Rivera Shoes. Well, Rivera Shoes is close to uh, the Internet Cafe, uh, right? Okay, excellent. This is lesson A how to find or finding places. What we mentioned at the beginning, we are want to work on directions. Like you have some streets, like Beach Street, Main Street, Second Avenue, etc. So that's what we have to learn. Okay, listen, don't close your books, no books, listen. Sonia is asking Jack for help. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. This is the letter B. Page 54. No books. Unit 6. Around town. Lesson A. Finding places. 1. Getting started. B. Listen. Sonia is asking Jack for help. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. Excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Uh, there's one on Main Street, across from the big department store. It's right up this street. Thanks. Oh, and are there any cash machines around here? Yeah, there are some ATMs over there, outside the bank, just across the street. Oh, yeah, I see them. Thanks. Okay, listen one more time, please. Page 54, Unit 6, Around Town. Lesson A, Finding Places. 1, Getting Started. B, Listen. Sonia is asking Jack for help. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. Excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Uh, there's one on Main Street, across from the big department store. It's right up this street. Thanks. Oh, and are there any cash machines around here? Yeah, there are some ATMs over there, outside the bank, just across the street. Oh, yeah, I see them. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Okay, who can tell me what, what she's looking for? A cafe with free in with free Wi-Fi. Yes, she's looking for an internet cafe with free Wi-Fi. What is her second um, question? What else does she need? Does she want? A cash machine. Cash machine. How do we call a cash machine? Alejandra? How do we call the, those machines where we can get cash? You put your debit card and you get some cash. How do we call those machines? Alejandra? Or Katy? Mm, 
Cajeros? I don't know how to say. Yeah, well, that's ca <laughs> it's Cajero in Spanish. But, he says something um, about... ATMs? ATM. Does anybody know the meaning of this acronym, ATM? No. We have ATMs on the shopping malls, in stores, um, at the bank, in the banks, etc. Is automatic teller machine. You know, in in a bank, we call teller to the person who is there. We don't call them cashier. Cashier is synonym to teller, but teller is for banks. Yes? It means the same, but in a bank, a teller is a cashier. It's the one who helps you with some uh, with something you have to do at the bank. Is the one that gives you the cash or you deposit cash, etc. So that's ATM. Automatic. Automatic teller machine. Automatic teller machine. That's an ATM. All right, let's continue, please. Listen one more time to the pronunciation. Page 54, Unit 6, Listen Around this. Town. Lesson A, Finding Places. 1, Getting Started. B, Listen. Sonia is asking Jack for help. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. Excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Uh, there's one on Main Street, across from the big department store. It's right up this street. Thanks. Oh, and are there any cash machines around here? Yeah, there are some ATMs over there, outside the bank, just across the street. Oh, yeah, I see them. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Kathy, you're Sonia. Um, Andrea, you're Jack, please. Do you mind reading? Practice reading. Okay. Um, excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Uh, there's one on Main Street across from the big de department store. It's right up the, this street. Um, thanks. Uh, and are there any cash cash machine around here? Yeah, there are some ATMs over there outside the bank, just cross the street. Oh yeah, I see them. Thanks. Okay, and you see in this lesson we have there is there are in question forms. Is there, remember, is there or there is, is for singular. There is singular. Um, there are or are there is for singular or plural? Plural. Plural. We have another, there are here, some, you remember when we say some, it's because it's plural, but not all the time. 
Uh, well, that's a topic. There is, there are. Is there, are there. There isn't, there aren't. Or there is not, there are not, etc. Uh, Alejandra. Uh, Andrea, you're Sonia. Alejandra, you're Jack. Uh, excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi Fi near here? Alejandra? Alejandra, are you there? No? Um, let me see. No, she's not here. Katy, can you do Jack, please? Yes. Uh, there's one on Main Street, across from the big department store. It's right up this street thanks oh uh, and are there any cash machines around here yeah there are some atms over there outside the bank just across the street oh yeah i see them thanks excellent excellent uh, just remember the linking, what I have always mentioned, the, the, the linking, uh, like when you, you read a sentence, not try not to like hesitate or stop. Uh, we will see that like, for example, here, oh, there's one on Main Street. Main Street is like together, one's on Main Street. Across from the big department store, department store. Remember, Andrea is not department, department, department store, department store. It's right up the street, right up, right up, right up, right up the street. It's right up the street. Now this is street, right up this street. Thanks so, and are there any cash machines around here? So that's why you have to practice a bit. Yeah, there are some ATMs over there, outside the bank, just across the street. Oh yeah, I see them, thanks. Excellent, good job. You just need to practice, remember, just practice and practice. The more you practice, the better. Okay, give me one second, please. Okay, as you see, we are seeing you need, I mean, lesson A. Same, is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Same lesson. Uh, let's continue. Just give me one second, it's loading.
Thank you. We have more vocabulary here. The example is a deli. A deli. A deli is also a store, as you see here in the picture, where you can find many things, like especially food, ham, sausages, cheeses, etc. A deli. A cafe. What do you hear? A cafe. A cafe. Remember, cafe is not the same like coffee. Yes, because some people confuse cafe with coffee. Cafe is a place. A department store. What do you hear? A department store. Remember department store, department um, store. Department store. Sounds like, these two words sounds like one, department store, department store. Don't say department store, department store. A drug store. A drug store. Same like this, drugstore. A drugstore. A drugstore. A drugstore is something like pharmacy. Same meaning. A bank. A bank. A bank. A bank. Gas station. Gas station. Yes. Gas. <coughs> Correct. No gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Together. Gas station. An ATM. An ATM. And remember, and because we have power. An ATM. An ATM. An electronic store. An electronic store. The same in the pronunciation. An electronic store. An, an electronic, electronic store. An electronic store. Together. Practice. An electronic store. An, an electronic store. store. An electronic store. Electronic is always with an S story singular, right? Electronic store. Let's move up to the next page, please. Now let's pay attention to the grammar about is there, are there, location expressions. Okay, give me one second. Hold on, please. Page 56, lesson B, getting around. One, building vocabulary and grammar. Hold on, please. Listen to the conversations above and follow the directions on the map. Excuse me, could you give me directions to the Rock and Roll Museum? Sure. Go straight ahead for two blocks. You're going to see a ferry terminal. Make a right and go down the street about a block. 
It's yes, the give me one second. That's a different audio. Are you lost? Can I help you? Yes, thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Panther Stadium? Sure. Go to the end of this block. Mm. Page 55. Three. Speaking natural. Word stress. In hold on, hold on, hold on. My computer is not responding. And complete the question. Here you go. Then ask and answer the question. Page 55. Word stress in compound nouns. A. Listen and repeat the compound nouns above. Notice the stress pattern. Bookstore. Restroom. Drugstore. some outside the bank. No, there aren't. There aren't any nearby. Okay, please, one more time. Page 55. Two. Grammar. Is there? Are there? Location expressions. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Yes, there is. There's one on Main Street. No, there isn't. There isn't one in this neighborhood. Are there any cash machines near here? Yes, there are. There are some outside the bank. No, there aren't. There aren't any nearby. Okay, please remember to repeat after each sentence. One more time. Page Repeat. 55. Two. Grammar. Is there? Are there? Location expressions. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Is there yes, there, there is. There's one on Main Street. No, there isn't. There isn't one in this neighborhood. No, there isn't. Are there any cash machines near here? Yes, there are. There are some outside the bank. No, there aren't. There aren't any nearby. Yeah, besides, I just see is there or are there? Pay attention on this one, some and any. We use some when it's an affirmative sentence. There are some outside the bank. No, there aren't. There aren't any nearby. Any is used in negative sentences. Okay, Alejandra, can you read the first sentence, please? Alejandra? Uh, is, is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Yes, wifi. there is. Wi-Fi. 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 Yes, there is. 
there's one on Main Street. No, there isn't. There isn't one in this neighborhood. Okay, Andrea, the next paragraph, please. Are there any cash machine near here? Yes, there are. There are some outside the bank. No, there aren't. There aren't any nearby. Yes, there aren't any nearby. Remember the use of some and any. Some is in affirmative, any is in negative sentences or statements. Excellent. We are going also we are going to learn location expressions like behind. This is also from level one. Remember behind, in front of. Well, let's see. Kathy, can you read the location expressions, please? Yes. It's behind, in front of, next to, between, inside, outside, on first street, on the corner of the main and first, across the street, from upside. Yes, from the from opposite. Remember, this is opposite. opposite. We give directions, right? It's behind, it's in front of that building. Um, let, me, let me add something else here that is very usual, very common. Sometimes we say, you go straight ahead. Derecho, te vas derecho, straight ahead. And then we say turn to the right or to the left. Straight ahead, then turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the left, etc. You know what I mean? Three ahead. You go straight ahead. Turn to the right or turn to the left. The left. Yes. Do you understand? Straight ahead. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Or you can say, this is for directions, make like the cards, make a U-turn. Uh, you see in the lesson, it was right up, right? Right up. It is like say right up. A means arriba, right up. Right up. Left up. When we use, when we use the word, this preposition of particle up means up. Up. Oh, when we use right down, down, right down, depending on the avenue, right? When you are, where you are in that moment, right up or right down. Yes? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, just don't forget that when you use directions, write up, write down. Andrea, yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, Alejandra? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, remember, these are vocabulary for directions. You need to learn how to give directions to people. 
or to ask for directions. When you are lost, when you're lost on when you need to know a place, well, you know, sometimes we use a map. If we don't have a phone, or we use Google, right? Google Maps, that's easier. But sometimes when we are we don't have signal, we don't have we don't we don't have internet, we have to ask people. Let's do the last exercise before we finish. Look at the map on page 54, complete the questions with is there or are there any? Okay, Alejandra, can you read the instructions, please, here? Um, the localization expression? No, read the instructions here. Um, look at the map. Uh, I'll look, uh, look at the map on page uh, 40, 40, 4. Complete the questions. When is there or are there any? Complete the answer when one, some, any, and uh, location expression, then practice. Okay, what number is this, Alejandra? 54. Say it again. Five. Five, five, four. No. Well, first you say 44. What number is this? Fifty, fifty, fifty. Yes, fifty-four. Yeah, you have to know the numbers. And you don't say answers, 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 not W. Yes? Can you repeat answers? Answers? Yes, please, not W. No answer. answers. Answers, answers, answers. Okay, Andrea, can you, can you read the example, please? Driver. Driver, is there a bank around here? Kathy, Matt. Mm, yeah, there's one right on Main Street. It's next to the deli. Uh, do you see Sam's Deli? Just across the street. Okay, excellent. Remember, <clears throat> he's talking about um, the map you saw before. So you need to use these expressions. This map. So try to answer, please. Try to answer these questions with directions and use this vocabulary. Okay. Uh, let me see, we have seven more minutes. I give you five. <clears throat> Let me know whenever you're done, when you finish. You say finish. Remember to read the instructions. Complete the questions with is there or are there any? Complete the answers with 
one, some, any, and location expressions like this. You remember when we use <coughs> street names, Ravani, we, we use on, like here. Okay, ready? Yes, are you ready? Mm, no teacher. No teacher. Okay. Forget to use your map.
All right, ladies, I think we are done for the day. We will continue tomorrow with the same exercises. Please try to review your answers. Make sure you're using the map. And we will continue solving this exercise tomorrow. Okay, any questions? Okay, teacher. Questions or comments? Okay, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. no all right, see you tomorrow <laughs> at nine o'clock on prompt, prompt. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.